Hi darlings, welcome back to a new What's New in My Wardrobe video. Today I'm going to be doing my What's New in My Wardrobe for July. So last month I let you guys know that these videos would be coming to you on the first Wednesday of each month, but since then I've had a little shake up of my YouTube schedule, so I'm now going to be uploading videos on Tuesdays, normally a vlog, Thursdays normally a fashion video and then on Sundays as well every now and then there'll be a bonus video because you know how I like to throw in a few extra videos um, but that's going to be the main schedule so Tuesdays Thursdays and Sundays of course if you don't want to miss out on any of my videos you know what to do make sure you're subscribed and hit that little notification bell as well because it's going to take a bit of getting used to and I may switch back to my old schedule but for now it's going to be Tuesdays Thursdays and Sundays with the added bonus video every now and then. So today I'm going to be showing you the pieces that are new in my wardrobe since this last video last month. So a month's worth of new pieces. These are the favourite new pieces in my wardrobe that I have either purchased or have been sent very kindly by a brand or I have got as a result of working with a brand. Because I do a lot of hauls on my channel I want to do these videos so that you can see my favourites, the pieces that I am keeping for for my personal wardrobe. So in today's video I have got a couple of designer purchases. I did buy a few things in the summer sales. If you didn't spot them I did quite a few sales roundup blog posts over on fashionmumbler.com. I showed you my favourite picks from the sales and during my research I did get very excited and saw some lovely bits that I just could not resist and you have spotted them, a few of you guys have spotted them in recent vlogs and Instagram stories so I will be talking through my new designer purchases Purchases. Then I also have some bits from the premium end of the high street and then also high street pieces from brands such as River Island and Topshop. So I'm going to get started with probably the most exciting and it is my new designer handbag. Lots of you messaged me when I first featured this on Instagram and you were really worried that you'd missed an unboxing video. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. I didn't do an official unboxing because this arrived just before we went to Thailand and of course I wanted to take it with me. So this is my beautiful new Prada bag. It is called the Prada Cahie. Cahie? Not sure how to pronounce it. It's like cashier but without the extra S. And it is this beautiful straw bag. It's straw and leather with the Prada logo here and then you open it by lifting the flap and then inside is a surprisingly spacious handbag. You've got two main sections here and here. You've got a little um, folded over section and then you've got a little secret envelope pocket here. The strap of this bag is pretty thick which makes it really practical for wearing all the way across the body or just over one shoulder. I wore this a lot during our time in Chiang Mai. You spotted it in um, my Instagram pictures with my Kate Spade dress. That was my favourite way of wearing this and I was very lucky because when I paid for this it was in the sale about 40% off but then when I went to link it for my Instagram post it had gone back up to full price. I do not understand it, I don't know how that happened but I'm very glad that I got it at a discount. Hopefully it might go down again, I will leave it linked down below so keep checking that link if you adore this bag because it is seriously spectacular um, and I feel very very lucky to have got this at such a good discount. This next piece was the same strange sale and then full price phenomenon and it is this beautiful Tory Burch bag. I again got this for about 40% off and it is now full price again maybe because I got them from Farfetch and Farfetch works by being an aggregator for various retailers across the world so boutiques in France, Germany, Italy, Spain, America they all aggregate together on farfetch.com so maybe one of the boutiques had this bag in the sale the same with the Prada one and the boutiques that are now listing it still have it as full price who knows I don't know but I love this bag this was my hand luggage and pretty much my most used bag while I was in Thailand. I used it as a beach bag, I used it as a day bag, my aeroplane bag. It does have little poppers so you can make it a little bit more streamlined if you want to, like so, a little bit more handbag-like to be honest. I just had it open most of the time. Um, really great to just delve in and find what you're looking for, fit my laptop, my big camera, everything that I needed and I just think it's a very 
useful bag so I will look forward to wearing this a lot now that I'm back home as well good for those big shopping trips because it literally fits all of my stuff in next a couple of high street pieces and these mules are a godsend I'm so happy that these came into my life these are in River Island or from River Island and they are open toed mules with this beautiful crossover pattern really affordable and they make your outfit look so beautiful wear these with jeans wear them with culottes with dresses they are so versatile but something about them whether it's the color the crossover the fact there's a little bit of gold detail on here the heel height just something about them makes your outfit look instantly so elevated I love them these are such a good find on the high street I did get them a couple of weeks ago so fingers crossed they are still there if they are I would highly recommend picking up a pair I actually mentioned the yellow one in my summer trends video in that video I talk about the top trends to buy into this summer so if you haven't checked it out yet I'll leave it up on the screen now but yeah super versatile very comfortable and very affordable so huge fan of these from River Island also from the high street I must apologize they're a little bit creased because I literally had to grab these from the dryer to show you it is this pair of high-waisted paper bag style culotte trousers from Topshop now what makes these gorgeous aside from the beautiful very lightweight cotton material perfect for a heat wave is this lovely broderie anglais style panel down the side I'm not sure how much you can see but basically you have this beautiful panel Panel of like lace effect material that's just so effective it's not immediately obvious it's very subtle but once you do notice it you just think it's such a gorgeous design detail because they're high-waisted they're also very flattering you can wear them with crop tops a few of my favorite tops to wear them with include and set a photo here my mango crochet style top and then I also have at the front of this coat hanger this little top shop top I may actually have a photo of me wearing this with these trousers as well um, so anything that's a little bit cropped but I don't want my tummy button showing is a really great way to style these high-waisted trousers another one that I grabbed from the dryer this is my beautiful new play suit from Ted Baker you may have spotted this in my uh, Thailand Instagram stories and Instagram posts I actually bought this from the personal shopping um, suite in Heathrow Terminal 2 I had an hour to spare before our flight so I nipped into personal shopping and she'd pulled together some beautiful pieces for me including this I'm so grateful for that because I probably wouldn't have actually grabbed this from the rail or chosen it from the website but as soon as I tried it on, I absolutely fell in love with it it's so stylish it fits so beautifully and it was the perfect piece to take to Thailand it was great to wear um, when we were touring the Pandora factory when I was flying internal flights I used this so again I'll insert a photo of me wearing it here because it's not it's not being shown in its best light slightly creased at the moment speaking of Ted Baker last month I went to Royal Ascot with the team from Ted Baker it was such a fun day and Ted Baker very kindly dressed both Charlie and I for the event so as a result of that I have this beautiful new dress from Ted Baker gorgeous fit and flare style with almost like a handkerchief style hem so gorgeous again I'll insert a photo on the screen of me wearing it here um, and then I also had this little jacket it was quite a warm day but it's always useful to have something like this just to pop on over your shoulders and I adore the ruffle detail on this so so beautiful great for summer weddings spring weddings when you just want something over your shoulders just to take that chill off that evening chill and this is absolutely beautiful I absolutely loved my accessories from that day as well I wore these beautiful shoes with the they almost reminded me of like ballerina shoes with the crisscross detail and then the beautiful bow at the sides and this gorgeous bag I was very pink that day this is a beautiful almost like a Saffiano style leather great size as well fit all of my essentials and has the signature Ted Baker rose gold bow on there so I was very pink and absolutely loved my Royal Ascot outfit a few more slightly higher priced pieces this is a new pair of Valentino sandals they don't look very exciting off so I will insert a clip here of me wearing them but these I again got in the was it Farfetch or Louisa Via Roma I got in a sale um, and I thought they were so beautiful, so striking in the rose gold with the crisscross detail. I think that sandals, because you wear them so much during the summer months, it is worth investing in a pair that is truly beautiful and I wore these a lot in Thailand and in Spain and I also cannot wait to wear them here in the UK as well. So this beautiful pair of rose gold Valentino sandals is new to my wardrobe this month. And then these are actually brand new but there is zero chance of me returning these so I thought I might as well show you in this video. I couldn't resist 
just another pair of the chunky block heels also from Valentino. These were full price but I actually did some work with Farfetch so I had a voucher to use so I decided to put that towards these sandals. I have got these in bronze as well but my bronze ones are currently being fixed because the sole got a little bit ruined when I wore them in Cannes. Um, but I thought I'd go for the creamy white colour because I know how comfy they are, I know how fabulous they look and I'm just positive that I will get a lot of use out of these. And with the same voucher from Farfetch I also picked up a new pair of Gucci mules or loafers. I've been wanting a new pair of Gucci mules for quite a long time but I hadn't found the exact perfect pair. I have my leopard print pair that I absolutely adore but I feel they're a little bit autumnal so I did want a spring summer version and these are are just absolutely perfect for that. I haven't taken the tag off them yet because I literally opened them up this morning but they've got a yellow gold piping, they've got this beautiful floral detail and they are cream as the base colour so again they're going to go with everything in my wardrobe, super easy to slip on, they look great with three quarter length white jeans, little shorts, little dresses, in fact I'm going to wear them this afternoon with this little dress. Something a little bit different from me but something more affordable from ASOS, I picked up this top as a little bit of a wild card but I thought it looked very Dolce & Gabbana, this with a pair of denim shorts for the summer is just such a cute little outfit for summer barbecues or any summer holidays you may have coming up but yeah I thought it looked a lot more expensive than its high street price tag. I love the off the shoulder neckline, the ruffles around the neckline area here, the Bardot style sleeves as well, really really cute, very striking material and um, a great one, great fun piece for summer. And now I'm going to go through a few new pieces from Reese. I feel like this retailer is a regular in these videos because it is probably my favourite shop of all time. This first piece I'm so excited to show you. This is a new leather jacket. If you saw my video on how to make your old clothes look new and stylish again, you'll have seen that I pulled out a four or five year old brown Reese leather jacket, still in perfect condition, still stylish, four or five years after buying it. So that is what tempted me with a new one, this time in this beautiful peachy apricotty light pink colour. Same classic design, no real design detail, but beautiful, soft, top quality leather. It is so gorgeous. I'm not going to pop it on to show you right now because it is very hot in this room, as you can probably tell from my slightly glowing complexion. But this is a real investment piece, something that I will wear and love for many years to come and has already been so useful. I wore this over my shoulders on the aeroplanes when it was a little bit chilly in the evenings in Thailand and in Spain and I'm so excited to wear it here in the UK as well because it is just so so beautiful. Something else from Reese that I loved wearing in Thailand is this beautiful maxi dress in this gorgeous, it almost looks like a watercolour style material, pleated material going all the way down and then it's got this lovely almost like ruche detail at the top and this beautiful detail at the back here, very low scooping back with these big wide straps, a little v-neck at the front here, I will insert a video clip of me wearing it here, but this was such a lovely elegant piece and beautiful lightweight floating material that was just perfect for summer holiday evenings. Please excuse my rubbish coat hangers, I am very low on my pretty ones at the moment. Next is this gorgeous pleated skirt also from Reese, you guys spotted this on my Instagram for my travelling outfit, I wore this, a little white silk camisole which actually I've forgotten to pick up from the dryer, it is currently drying downstairs but that is also new in my wardrobe a beautiful classic white silk v-neck camisole vest top probably the most versatile thing you could possibly invest in highly recommend I'll leave that link down below as well but I wore that with this beautiful pleated skirt gorgeous midi length skirt um, and my Reese mules which I'll show you in a second to fly in and then I also have this beautiful skirt which I'm yet to wear but have already styled up with the white vest top as well another beautiful slightly more striking design um, beautiful lightweight material skirt from Reese. And then another kind of summer basic piece from them is this beautiful white vest top with this gorgeous lace detail. Again, I find these things are real outfit building blocks. They are staples in your wardrobe, definitely worth having lots of pieces like this because you just find outfit building so much easier when you have really simple pieces in your wardrobe like this. Both the skirts that I've showed you previously would look absolutely perfect with a top like this, instant outfit um, and beautiful quality materials from a retailer like Reese as well. Final new thing from Reese is this beautiful pair of trousers. These are almost like a cotton twill style trouser. They're very wide-legged, very stylish, they look very very 
chic high-waisted trousers. These look fabulous with a plain white blouse with a coloured top, linen blouses, great for this time of year, very kind of boho European style. So I'm looking forward to styling these up in various ways over the coming months. This dress I wore on our first evening in Chiang Mai and it's this beautiful lace tiered white dress. This I actually bought from Amazon. I had an Amazon voucher that I needed to use so I ended up spending £10 on this dress which is a real bonus. I actually thought it looked very Zimmerman-esque with its kind of lacy detail with this cut cut out detail around the waist and the tiers I thought it looked a lot more expensive than its price tag. Very elegant with the beautiful midi length as well. And then I also have this pair of shorts. This was another kind of wild card piece from River Island but I just thought the sequins and the tassels were great fun. I'm hoping to either go to Ibiza or Mykonos at some point throughout the summer and they are kind of party-ish so I thought it'd be something really fun that I could wear that will go with my personal style but still be a little bit more party-ish for those kind of holidays. So they are high-waisted shorts in almost like a calico material with this beautiful bead detail. High-waisted as well, so they should be nice and flattering. Um, quite warm, so I'm definitely going to have to stick to wearing them in the evenings. But these were... £48 with this amount of detail I was definitely expecting them to be more so a really cute very affordable piece from River Island and then last but not least my beautiful new mules from Reese so these are what is probably the closest I'm going to get to a replacement to my beautiful grey pointed toe mules which I did get from Reese a couple of years ago I love them Dickens has chewed them, I'm hoping to get them repaired, um, but in the meantime, these are a fabulous alternative. They are open-toed, I wish they were closed-toed, but actually the fact that they're open-toed hasn't really bothered me while I've been wearing them. They look so gorgeous on, they are so comfortable, and these are, I've probably said this before, but these are the most versatile type of shoe you can possibly have in your wardrobe. They're so comfortable because all of your foot is supported, there's a block heel so no chance of you wobbling and falling over, very comfortable, still give you a height boost. The fact that a little bit of your foot is showing just makes them so flattering. They work with absolutely everything. Price per wear on these literally could not be any better. I love them. So grateful to Reese for bringing this style of shoe out because I'm gonna wear these so much. You guys are gonna see them so, so, so much on my Instagram and my vlogs. Honestly, these will be my most worn shoes for the next year, I can guarantee it. So those are all the new pieces from my wardrobe this month. I really hope you enjoyed looking through them with me. Don't forget to keep an eye on my Instagram so that you can see me wearing them, and obviously in my vlogs, etc., you'll see me wearing them over there as well. The only other thing to mention, actually, is my new Pandora jewellery. Obviously, I was very lucky to go to Thailand as a guest of Pandora to visit their Chiang Mai factory, so I do have loads of new beautiful Pandora pieces. I'm going to be detailing and talking about all of them over on the blog um, but I will just quickly show you my gorgeous new bracelet. This here is the classic rose gold charm bracelet and I have a lovely little selection, it's really hard to show you, <laughs> a really lovely selection of charms on here including some beautiful feather beads, some kind of nest style heart beads and then I also have the crown ring in rose gold. I've been really having loads of fun creating ring clusters and necklace clusters so yeah keep an eye on Instagram stories, vlogs etc to see how I'm styling all of my new Pandora pieces. So yeah, that's all from me darlings. Thank you very much for watching. Everything as always will be linked down in the description box. So just click show more if you'd like any information on any of the pieces I've mentioned. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you like these kind of what's new in my wardrobe videos. And I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye! Always believe